Chances are you've heard the term resiliency, and you have some idea of what it means. Resiliency is more than a mood, right? It's more than keep calm and carry on. In my work in disaster management and counterterrorism, I have visited many communities that have faced the worst, and they have often rebounded. So here are the five factors that I have learned from them that make some communities and institutions more resilient than others. First, they have redundancies in the system, right? They have backups. This is as easy as a hospital having a backup generator so that if one goes down, you have a backup to ensure that life is protected. Second, these communities have a capacity to pivot in the face of harm. That's important, and you really can only train for that and exercise for that. If something happens, can you adapt to it quickly? I think most often of the Boston Marathon bombing attack. In that case, a public health apparatus that was there for runners who were dehydrated or had blisters was able to pivot immediately to save close to 300 lives. Third, these institutions and communities have what we call a fail-safe mechanism. That's easy to conceptualize. In other words, if something bad happens, make sure it doesn't bring the whole system down. Make sure it has a fail-safe. My favorite example of this is the Superdome in New Orleans during the Super Bowl, when in the third quarter, the lights went half out. Most people were mortified, but crisis managers like me were giddy. It meant that the system, as it went to dark out, had a fail-safe mechanism and protected half of the stadium and kept it in light. Fourth, these institutions can rebound quickly. They anticipate that something will bring it down and they know how to get it back up. A lot of metropolitan urban transport systems are not known to rebound quickly. But in other countries, and even in New York after Hurricane Sandy, with the right preparation and the anticipation that something bad will happen, you can invest to ensure that the system can get back up and running and get people moving. And finally, fifth, these communities and institutions have a rigorous lessons learned mechanism. In some ways, this last one is the most important. We often call them after action reports. What happened, what went wrong, and what went right? Look, we don't demand perfection, only growth, only that you learned when the bad thing happened. These five attributes of a resilient system really are the foundation for building a stronger and robust society. Because unfortunately, bad things will continue to happen. We can wish that that were not true, or we can build stronger in anticipation that something may come our way.